Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Diamond Select Toys action figure review. Well, this is another two-in-one action figure review. Today we're going to look at the Diamond Select Toys, the Walking Dead comic version of Rick Grimes and Michonne. And it has been a long time since I've indulged into any Walking Dead, whether it be from the TV series or the comics. I mean, I did finish the comics uh, a while ago. I collect all the trade paperbacks. I even have this one signed by the creator, Robert Kirkman himself. So I love Walking Dead. It's one of my all-time favorite reads. And getting comic-accurate, black-and-white, seven-inch scale figures from Diamond like this, oh, man, so awesome. I'm stoked for it. These are review samples. I have to give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for sending these my way. If you want the latest from DST, check them out. Link is in the description below. All opinions in this video are of my own. The packaging looks pretty dope on these. I do like it. And you can see on the side, you get a little bit of rust and wear going on. Now, this box right here for Rick, it's kind of slightly opened. I think the tape just misfired, so you can see how that corner's flipping up right there. But it looks like everything's in there. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with or anything. And both sides of the box look the same with the window. You get windows on the top right there. On the back of the packaging, uh, you get a little re-up for each character. So if you want to read it for Rick Grimes, go ahead and check it out and pause right now. Then there's the read-up for Michonne. If you want to read that, you can go ahead and pause it right now. Nothing much to look at the bottom except for some barcodes right there. So let's get to it and crack the these figures open and if you're trying to get your diamond select toys you can do so big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> so here are the figures out of the packaging and at first glance i can understand not very interesting figures that they're mostly gray you got some black and some white mostly black and white figures. However, when you get a closer look at these things, you can really see the details in the paint washes throughout. And there is a lot of color variety right here with those gray colors. So I'm pretty happy with that. They actually look very cool to me. They're fun to pose sometimes, depending. Uh, we'll get into all of that in a moment. But first, let's get a closer look. <laughs> So let's start out with Michonne, and I gotta say, this head sculpt looks great. I really like it, and I love the variations of paint that we're seeing over here. We get different dark tones of black, gray throughout on this, and I really like how the hair looks over here too, and I like how the sword looks. It, I mean, the scarf, everything looks great on this figure. I really like how the eyes came out over here too. The jacket looks good. You can see this nice wash throughout. Strap right here for the katana is pretty awesome. I do like it. And the katana itself is painted a very light color gray. Almost a light color gray, but it's really white. But yeah, their uses of whites and grays throughout are just really well done. I don't have to mention that because it's just variation of three colors, white, gray, and black, right? But yeah, everything looks really good. The studded belt over here looks nice. You can see a little bit of a wash right there. You can see some cuts on the legs. Now when you bend the knee, you will see the gray plastic underneath. I don't like that. I wish they used black pins because it's like, dude, you got paint over it. They could have just used black, you know, joints right over here or hinges and everything. It would have made a lot more sense. Nice textures throughout right here on the apparel though. I do like that. Now she does come with her purse. I, I don't remember her carrying this around a whole bunch. And I did have to heat up the head and removed it to put this on because I felt like I was going to break something. Not so much with the strap right here for the katana, but yeah, getting this over her head, I had to remove the head and put that over. She also comes with a gun right over here, looking really nice, looks solid. Rick comes with the same one too, so I like that. And then she has interchangeable hands, so you get two gun holding hands which actually work better for me as katana holding hands one for each hand and then we get this wider grip hand right here and then this is an open palm hand no fisted hands <laughs> i don't know maybe i should brighten up the background for these figures i probably should have done that for michonne but looking at the first rick grimes head i gotta say i like it i really like both of the heads over here there is something going on with the eyes i feel like his left eye is cockeyed or something and it's a little bit hard to see because the hair falls forward in his face 
kind of gets in his eyes a little bit. So you kind of, you know, you have to tilt the head up to really see. And I do think that left eye is closer to the middle than it should be. I like the five o'clock shadow, though. I like the color variation for his hair. Almost looks like we get slight touches of blue and red hues in there. I, I could be wrong. Could just be an illusion or something like that. But I do like how the highlights look on the hair right here. So that's pretty cool. The low lights more towards his calic right there. So I, I do like that. Head sculpt looks really good. But I do prefer the cowboy head sculpt a lot more. Easy for me to say. But yeah, that looks more straight on. Sheriff Grimes over here looking pretty sweet. Hasn't seen too much battle yet. But I prefer this head sculpt more. I, I do think it looks good. And then you have a nice leather jacket right here. Nice wash over it. Really looks great, man. Very pleased with that. I'll go over the articulation later on. I have a problem with those single joint elbows, but yeah. Sheriff's, like, I don't know, logo? Part of the jacket. Yep, it's the logo, part of the jacket. His real badge would be on his chest or something, or on his hip. I, I, don't, I don't really know, but it's not there. So uh, he just came out of the hospital. They probably put it somewhere. But anyway, well, why does he have his jacket and stuff? Should have given him, he has his gun. There should be badge, right? Gun and badge. Anyway, zipper looks really good. I like the detail with the paint, <laughs> with the zipper right over here. And he has his holster and his, some pockets right there and along the belt. And here's a look at the revolver that he comes with. I'll remove that from his hand carefully. But yeah, nice looking revolver over here. I do like it. And it stores nice and easy in this holster right here. So I do like that. And he has some scuffs and everything on his jeans or his pants anyway. I think it looks pretty good. Subtle paint detail throughout. Like both of these figures have paint detail going all the way throughout. I'm, I'm really happy with that. His legs look pretty good. I like how the pants came out on this figure. And you can see the shoes right over here. And they have just ever so subtle amounts of paint on there as well. Feels like there's black paint over black plastic on this, but I could be wrong about that. I've been wrong before. I'm human. Last time I checked, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, look at this bag. He comes with his golf bag. No, but there's a dark bluish gray color kind of highlighting this. I, I really like how that came out. But right here, looking pretty good. I like it. And then he also has the same gun that Michonne has. Now, he comes with an... Oh, and his trusty axe. This is his most important weapon. So I love the axe right over here. Yeah, it looks good. But, um, yeah, he comes with a set of fisted hands. He comes with a set of trigger hands like this. And he has some wraps going on right there. Uh, but he also comes with a set of wide open grabbing, clawing hands, and then other blunt force weapon hands right over here. The gun hands do not have horizontal hinges on them. I think I thought that would have been a good move, but yeah, they did not do that. So the articulation on the Michonne figure, I think is a little bit better than it is on the Rick figure. And you know, their typical diamond select articulation. Okay, not the greatest, definitely not the worst. Anyway, uh, let's start with Rick over here. Looking at Rick's head articulation, we have the dumbbell joint right there, which I don't like. So his head looks up a little bit right there. You can see a little bit of a gap underneath his ear too. Can move down just a little bit. You get side to side motion, pivoting. Arms move outward only about that far. And then you could rotate forward, rotate, or you could do a full 360. The single jointed elbow does not meet the 90 degree mark. And that's really tough getting him to hold his guns. I really don't like that. I wish that could bend in a lot more so, or we had double jointed elbows. The wrist turns side to side and they do hinge up and down. You have the diaphragm cut there, bit of diaphragm pivoting, shifts forward and crunches a little bit, not back at all. Waist cut, hips move outward very far, kicks forward, uh, moves back the tiniest bit, upper thigh cut, single jointed knee, and then it rotates at the knee. Again, you can see that plastic popping through there. And the ankles rotate side to side. You can move him down, you can move him up a bit, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. And her head, of course, could turn side to side, pivots, and looks up a little bit more so than Rick, and she can look down more so than Rick. Shoulders move outward, fairly easier than Rick's. You could do a full rotation right there. That single jointed elbow comes in maybe just a bit more than the 90 degree mark, which is a lot better to work with. So see, and she should, she's more agile, rotates at the elbow as well. And then you have these ball joints right here at the wrist. So a little bit less articulation, but you can rotate them and then shift them around and pivot in any direction. I prefer the hinges, but it's sufficient. Uh, you do have a diaphragm cut in there. It's hidden by this scarf. 
So it pivots, moves forward a bit, moves back a bit, waist cut still. Oh, then I dropped a katana. I do like that you can shift her skirt up a little bit. So if you want her skirt to move up some, you can get more range of movement with the legs. So you can move them outward that far if you lift up the skirt. And it doesn't look too bad when she's posed. So uh, you can kick forward and back that much. So it does hinder articulation for sure. She doesn't have an actual thigh cut but it does rotate a bit up at the top over there. I wish she had a proper thigh cut though. It's kind of weird that she doesn't. Almost like how a McFarlane Toys figure thigh would move. Kind of shifts more than really swivels. Anyway, single jointed knees right there, rotates at the knee, and then you get boot rotation right here as well. And then the ankles move down, they move up, and she also has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out these figures, you can see Michonne is standing just a little under to the seven inch mark. And then you can see good old Rick Grimes over here standing just a bit over seven inches. Like seven and a quarter and i don't have too many size comparisons for you guys but i certainly had to compare this rick and michonne figure set next to rick and michonne from the mcfarland toys five inch walking dead figure line and one thing i wish that diamond select did was change out one of the hands for a stump that would have been kind of cool to have and then maybe instead of this alternate head maybe have an alternate head that looked like that you know later on in the series but you know i gotta say it is refreshing to have walking dead figures with good articulation i didn't like the articulation on these figures and some of them are kind of pre-posed a little bit you get some side eye with michonne over there but while I was going through my bag of old McFarlane Toys Walking Dead figures, I certainly appreciated all the blood and the gore that came with those. We're never going to get that with black and white figures. However, it is refreshing to have black and white, you know, comic accurate figures like this in this scale with this much of articulation. So I got to say, I really do like them both. And here's Rick and Michonne next to a couple other seven inch figures. We have two NECA figures over here, Ash Williams from Evil Dead 2, and we have Jesse Custer from the HBO Preacher series. And I busted out the Ash Williams figure because I feel like, you know, most horror movies or series, it's the monster that's the main character, but Ash is the main character in Evil Dead and similar thing going on. On here with walking dead it's the people the you know the living walking dead people that are the ones that are the main characters and then i busted out preacher over here because walking dead and preacher are my two favorite comic series of all time oh man if you grew up uh, around a lot of religious stuff i highly recommend you read preacher <laughs> It's, you, you're in for a ride. But yeah, I don't know if I really liked the HBO series that much. I never finished it, but damn it, I love that comic run. Can't go run with Garth Ennis. Truly, if you love the boys, read Preacher. Garth Ennis also wrote The Boys. So yeah, read Preacher if you haven't yet. You won't regret it. It will blow your mind. I don't know if I'm totally missing it, but I don't think I have any 7 inch scale zombies for these figures, which is fine. They have a zombie coming up, so I'm totally going to get that. But I wanted to compare these two figures next to some Marvel Legends Marvel Zombies figures. You can see Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, and Captain America. But yeah, they don't really scale together. I didn't really pose these figures with these two over here. I'm going to keep these black and white Walking Dead figures all in their own little universe. Then here's Rick and Michonne next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa, huh. I know there's a joke about colored people somewhere, but uh, yeah, uh, not today. <laughs> Why? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you yeah, did, feel free to hit that like button. I certainly appreciate it. And if you want to see more content on this channel, well, take your thumb and put it on that subscribe button so that you can not miss out on my future videos. And these figures are cool as hell. I really do like them a lot. It's refreshing. I've loved The Walking Dead since I think issue six, right? When I think after the first trade paperback, came out that's when i found out about it and i've loved it this whole time and i've wanted figures like this the whole time and i'm so happy to have them i think the execution of the figures is actually really good i really do like the figures a lot i especially like the michonne figure she has more articulation there's definitely more mobility with her even though she has that upper thigh cut limitation i do have my gripes with rick, rick grimes rick gripes <laughs> that's not funny but anyway the elbows i wish those could bend in more and yeah, I wish the head articulation was a little bit better on Rick. So I do have my gripes with him, but he does come with a bunch more accessories than Michonne. So I really do like them both. I guess you could call me biased because I've been wanting something like this for a long time. As soon as they put these figures out on display, I was like, oh yes, they're doing it. Sweet. So I'm stoked for them at the price of about 25 bucks a figure. Oh man, I'm going to give these figures a sud rating of... I love it! 
And I'd like to know what you guys think. So share your opinions with me in the comment section below. I do read my comments. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on Whatnot and Mercari. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.